Okay, well, Lucas, obviously back in near to a place near and dear to you, having won here just a few years ago. How much of a factor is that to a round like today? Good, a lot. You always feel good, you know, driving into a place where you've had success, whether it was a win or a good finish or uh, or just a good feeling. So, um, you know, I love the course and always love coming here. So, nice to uh, nice to play well. TJ, you want to take it from there. What was working out there this morning? Uh, putted well. Um, hit a couple wedges close and made a bunch of putts and uh, um, it was just just solid. Um, but uh, putted really well. Does that have a lot to do with the change you made at putter? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, got some confidence in that and um, you know confident on the short ones. So you can be a little more aggressive on the longer ones and that. Uh, that just breeds confidence, and, and last week and then coming into this week, just uh, finally feel good with something, yes. When you play as well as you did today, what do you do to kind of work on that to make sure you can replicate that for the weekend as well? Well, late late yesterday and early today, so probably a little bit of rest this afternoon. I, I like where my game is, so um, just maybe some short game and, and, and just some uh, some rest this afternoon, nothing, nothing too crazy. Got to get some rest. Uh, it was a quick turnaround last night. You entered this week 130th in the FedEx Cup rankings and a really good finish could get you maybe even inside that top 70 or at least very close to it within striking distance. Has that been weighing on your mind at all with these last few tournaments this year, this kind of closing stretch, and it's kind of desperation time for a lot of guys to make that final push? Yeah, not really. I'd, I mean, until now, I wasn't even in a position to pay attention. I've been playing yeah. so poorly. Um, but after after a good finish last week and, and, and seeing some putts go in finally and, and continuing that this week, yeah, I mean, I like where... I like the way I'm trending anyway. You've seen this course in a lot of different playing conditions. Describe this morning's conditions for us. Was it about as easy as it could have been? Yeah, it was pretty perfect. Um, I mean, the golf course is in perfect shape, and then when you get pretty calm conditions on a perfect, manic, perfectly manicured course with somewhat soft greens, the scores are going to be low, and that's what we're seeing. Um, looked like that was kind of the case yesterday as well, and then some wind yesterday afternoon, but that's expected. Um, but yeah, the golf course is perfect. The greens are perfect. They're receptive, and um, scores are always going to be low when you have that. What was the putting change? The I went to a long kind of uh, chest style broomstick, whatever you want to call it, okay. uh, um, a la Adam Scott's the best way I know to describe it. Not all the way up like Bernard, but kind of middle like Adam. Last week, this week, this uh, Lucas Glover resurgence. What what did the momentum finishing strong yesterday mean to you carrying into today? Yeah, on a quick turnaround, it's always nice to have some momentum. You know, birdie and couple coming in last night, and then um, you know we all the you know we always say makes dinner taste good, but also if you're early the next day, it gives you you know you wake up and it's easier to get out of bed at four when you just made a couple birdies the night before, and um, yeah, and then you just want to pile on. Good finish and uh, keep it going. Piling on is the key here, as you as you know. I'm sorry. Piling on birdies. Yeah, yeah. You got you got to make a bunch. And uh, looks like weather's going to be beautiful this weekend. And golf course shouldn't change much. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a birdie fest, and uh, that's fun. How we talk about the par save that putt on nine, and how that can help you for this weekend. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be. You know, considerably far back, starting tomorrow, I would assume, and then it's just one less that I got to overcome. And um, and similar to last night, birdie 18, make dinner taste good. Make that putt on nine, makes lunch taste good. So uh, otherwise, it'd be pretty miserable. But uh, you know, middle of the fairway there, and, and come off with a five, that was that was a big save. What was the approach into the green? What I had uh, about 196, six iron, just pushed it. Um, it was the right club to get it behind that hole and putt down the hill a little bit. But, uh, you know, I missed my spot, you know, five yards right, and then it just runs through because it gets short on that right side. Didn't look like – it looked like it was a very easy round for you, an easy six under today. Yeah, it was. Yesterday was a hard two under. Today was a um, one of those I'll, when I get back and reflect on it, it'll be about as high as I could have shot. I, I misread a short one on 17, and uh, – um, for birdie and, and that one, and then a pretty silly bogey on seven. And um, as as difficult as 69 yesterday, it was equally as easy as 65 today. That'd be how I how I describe it. 
Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.